This is your basic, run-of-the-mill, Boofwang UV5R hams radios. Millions of these little miracles of modern technology have been sold over the last 10 or 15 years because it is such a well-engineered, inexpensive hams radios. This is also a Boofwang UV5R radio, but one of these is not like the other. As you can see, with your very own, as you can see with your very own ocular gel bags, both radios look pretty much identical. And if you were to slice them open and look at their guts, you would see that they are even more identical on the inside. However, if you transmit on a GMRS frequency on this one, you would be in violation of FCC's regulations, even if you have a GMRS or HAMS radios license. But, but if you have a GMRS license and you use this one to transmit on a GMRS channel, the FCC's love you long time. And the question that many people ask, the thing that fosters confocularity amongst so many normal people is why. As mentioned only a moment ago, both radios appear nearly visually identical and they both have the same RF electricity's output. Ladies and gentlemen, for all intents and purposes, one might think these are two of the same radio. So then why will this one get you put into jail for transmitting on a GMRS frequency and this one will not? My friend, even though these two radios may look the same, there is one small yet very significant difference between these two radios. This Boofwang is a very special version of the UV5R only available for purchase in the last year or two. And if you lift its leg and look very closely you will see that this one has a tiny sticker that says GMRS. Whereas if you lift the leg on this one, there is no such sticker. There is a sticker, but it says Texas. I don't know why. And if you look at the box or the advertisement for one of these, it will say hams radios or dual band or some other very confusing description, none of which includes the word GMRS. And that is because this one has been certified by our overlords at the FCC's for use specifically on GMRS channels. And this one, as with the vast majority of UV5Rs currently in the wild, this one has not been approved by the FCCs for use on GMRS. And the deeper reason for this and what this little sticker means is that the FCCs have rules, many rules, not laws. The FCCs do not make laws. Only Congress can do that. The FCCs have rules that very clearly specify what a radio must do and must not be able to do in order to have the privilege to transmit on the GMRS channels. And these rules are all outlined in perfectly clear legalese in the FCC's Part 95-E regulations. Regulations, not laws. And more specifically, in the FCC's Rules Part 95.1761, which very clearly states that in order to be allowed by the FCCs to transmit on GMRS channels and to be permitted by the FCCs to be sold in these Great again, United States, with a GMRS sticker on it, the radio must meet several very specific standards. These standards include, but are not limited to, having all 22 GMRS channels built in and pre-programmed with the standardized channel numbers. The radio must not be capable of transmitting on anything other than those 22 standard GMRS channels and the eight standard repeater channels. The radio must have the appropriate power levels and bandwidth settings for each channel baked in and unchangeable. And the radio must not be able to be programmed to transmit on any frequencies, including GMRS frequencies, by directly typing the frequency into the radio on the keypad. In other words, the radio is only permitted to transmit on pre-programmed channels. Those very channels that are preset and baked in or customized channels that have been pre-programmed by the user. There are several more requirements for a radio to get the coveted GMRS sticker. And trust me when I say that 
Some people will no doubt leave 10 paragraph long comments on this video outlining all of those other requirements, whilst also whining that I did not mention every single one of them. But basically, in short, what I am saying to you right now is that to be permitted by our overlords at the FCCs to transmit on a GMRS channel, the radio must be backed and certified by the full faith and credit of the FCCs, and this is commonly referred to as Part 95E Certification. Certification. And if the radio does not have that Part 95E Certification from the FCCs, the FCCs saith, Thou must not transmitteth on GMRS frequencies with it. And that, my friend, is why you are not allowed to use a non-certified or non-GMRS radio, such as this one, to transmit on GMRS frequencies.